Question 2 says Lake Erie contains roughly 4 times 10 to the 11th cubic meters of water. A. How much energy is required to raise the temperature of that volume of water from 11 degrees Celsius to 14 degrees Celsius? And B. How many years would it take to supply this amount of energy by using the 850 megawatt exhaust energy of an electric power plant? Now notice that part A wants to know the amount of energy required to raise the temperature. So Q is our definition of energy transferred by heat. And so we're going to use the definition of Q to find out how much energy was transferred. So Q is equal to the mass times the specific heat times the change of temperature. So Q is how much energy is required. And so we need to know how much energy that is. Well, the problem doesn't doesn't give us the mass of Lake Erie. The problem gives us the volume. So we know that mass is equal to the volume times the density. And so the the volume it gives us the density of water is is one kilo or one thousand kilograms per cubic meter. And when we multiply that by the volume, which is four, so multiply this by four times ten to the eleventh, that's going to give us the mass. Now the specific heat of water, the specific heat capacity is uh, is four thousand one hundred and eighty six and that's in joules per kilogram kel uh, Celsius. The problem says that the change of temperature change of temperature is from 11 to 14 degrees, so that's uh, 3 degrees Celsius. Now all we gotta do is plug everything in. Now since since uh, our, our density is in meters cubed and our volume, or rather our density is per meters cubed and our volume is in meters cubed, they're gonna end up canceling out. We're gonna leave us with kilograms. So 1000 times 4 times 10 to the 11th. And since basically it's just it's just adding our three powers of 10 to this side, our, our mass is going to equal four times four times ten to the fourteenth, uh, and so you just take that number four times so four times ten to the fourteenth times four thousand one hundred and eighty six, and because this is in kilograms and mass is in kilograms, our kilograms will cancel out, and um, and then. Uh, this is also in ch uh, per change of degree Celsius, so Celsius will cancel out. We'll be left with with joules. So four times ten to the fourteenth times four thousand one hundred eighty six times three is going to equal Q, and that number is approximately five point zero two three two times ten to the eighteenth. And the unit is joules. And so part B asks us how many years it would take to supply that amount of energy. Um, using an 850 megawatt exhaust and so it's it's going into a new equation so the the power we've seen the the uh, equations for power before and its power is basically the joules per per unit time so joules per second or and that's the unit for power is joules per second so power is equal to Q because Q is our joules Q is our energy now uh, divided by time and our unit for time is in seconds and so it actually gives us the power. It says it's 850 megawatts. So a megawatt is is uh, one, uh, one times 10 to the sixth watts is a megawatt. So you times this by 850, and that's 850 megawatts. And so it gives us the unit power. We got to solve for the change of time. So uh, change of time is equal to the the uh, heat transfer divided by the power. And so you know what Q is from the from the previous uh, part A is 5.0232 times 10 to the 18th, and power is going to be 850 times 10 to the 6th, or if you prefer 8.5 times 10 to the 8th. Um, so we just got to plug that in, and it's going to give us our time, but it's going to give it to us in units of seconds. And so you should get that the change of time is um, is approximately five nine zero nine uh, six four seven zero five eight point eight two and that's in seconds and so we got to convert this to to years and so there are there are um, 
so one hour has 3,600 seconds, and, and uh, one, one day, so one day has 24 hours, and one year, one year has 365 days. And so if we multiply all of this out, we should get a number by which we can divide our seconds by, and we will uh, be able to convert it into years. So in other words, it's number of seconds, which we have right here. So number of seconds over one times one hour, times one hour over 3,600 seconds, times one day over 24 hours, times one year over 365 days. And so days will cancel out, hours will cancel out, seconds will cancel out, and we'll get our unit in number of years divided by whatever this multiplies out to be. And so the, the answer you should get is 187.39 uh, years. It would take 187.39 years for an 850 megawatt output to heat Lake Erie by 3 degrees.